So in a previous episode regarding sunscreen, I talked about a study where they did one application of sunscreen, just one application, and people's blood levels of oxybenzone were 40 times higher than the government's own safety limits seven days later. And I don't want to distract you, so I'm not going to link that now, but I'll, I'll put that up at the very end of this video in a little box. So you should watch that. But we talked a little bit about cancer there. We talked about just basically how this oxybenzone is also called benzophenone 3. These are synonyms. It's the same chemical. But today I want to talk about how this, same, this sunscreen chemical, which is also found in shampoo, it's also found in laundry detergent, and a lot of other lotions and personal care products. I want to talk about this oxybenzone, benzophenone, and how it feminizes males. It disrupts hormones, men and women, but in particular, it feminizes males, and it even makes females a little bit more male. So it kind of uh, causes gender dysmorphia on a physiological level. It changes your hormones. It starts in 2014. We see a study here where benzophenone 3, which again is also called oxybenzone, it's been widely used in sunscreens. And I want to bring out bioaccumulation here. They mentioned the word bioaccumulation. That means it stores up in your body. That means when you're studying these sunscreen chemicals, yeah, sure, you can do a study where you put sunscreen on somebody and, and measure their blood seven days later, but you forget, oftentimes, those types of studies, this is storing up in your system. So it's building up over time, causing longer-term problems than just a short-term study would pick up. And it's lipophilic. That means it stores in your fat cells. Um, and it's rapidly absorbed. We found that in the last episode. We talked about that. Um, and of course, they've found this in urine and serum and milk, breast milk, unfortunately. We're disrupting infants. <sighs> and it's strongly anti-androgenic. What does that mean? It means it lowers testosterone. It messes with your testosterone, and it's a weak estrogenic activity. It also acts like estrogen. And at the same time, it can, it can act anti-estrogenic and can block the estrogen receptor. So we're seeing all kinds of hormone disruption from this chemical. And by the way, there was a study in 2018 where the CDC found that 97% of people tested had oxybenzone or benzophenone 3, again, synonym. They had this in their blood. So this is, or in, excuse me, in their urine. So this is extremely common. This is not some rare occurrence, <clears throat> not some theoretical thing we're talking about. <clears throat> excuse me. Now, this is further confirmed in 2021. Again, they're still talking about it, where they're saying, yeah, it's bioaccumulates. And this isn't just animal studies. This is also in humans. The problem with human studies oftentimes is they don't want to use the word feminization. There's a lot of politics here. So you kind of have to go to the animal studies. And sure enough, when you look at fish, we see there's widespread occurrence of feminized male fish downstream from this wastewater treatment plant. What do they find there? What do they have there? What are the chemicals there? Oxybenzone. So what does it do? Well, let's look at testosterone, right? Clearly there's a difference just in the quantity of total testosterone, TT, total testosterone between men and women. And what do we find? BP3, benzophenone 3, that's also called oxybenzone, and BPA were associated with lower testosterone, total testosterone in male adolescents, teenagers. We're screwing with teenager sex hormones. That's a very fragile time. But not only that, BPA, which we're, we're going to talk about different videos, of course, it also increased testosterone in female girls and teenage girls. So we're completely flipping the sex hormones. Talk about gender dysmorphia at a biological level. Here it is. So, and let's end on this too. In Hawaii, uh, they've even introduced a bill to ban benzophenone 3, also called oxybenzone, and it's because these exposures are causing demographic feminization and other types of reproductive diseases. So they're even being honest about what it's causing. It's causing feminization. And remember, just lowering testosterone is a form of feminization. There's a lot of different forms of feminization. It changes the way your brain works. It changes the way you're motivated. It changes a lot of things. But let's just be blunt here. Let's be honest with ourselves and call it what it is. Even the House of Representatives in Hawaii is calling what it is. Feminization, you're screwing up your sex hormones if you're using sunscreen with oxybenzone, personal care products with oxybenzone. Know what's in your personal care products. Avoid that nasty sunscreen. If you have to use sunscreen, use zinc. 
get some sunshine it's good for you don't get too much wear a sun shirt sun hat sun gloves if you have to and or use zinc sunscreen